Hello people, how are you? My name's Kev, this is Angling and Anxiety. It's all about the angling, it's just about the anxiety. River hunting, um, waiting for Nick. It's not too early, it's only nine o'clock. I was up by five, but uh, <laughs> Nick's had a little lay in today. So, yeah, just doing a bit of hunting for some river. Um, found some really, 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 really cool spots, man. Uh, I'll show you a couple of them in a second. Obviously, I won't show you too much because I'm not daft, but. I found some really, really attractive looking pools, man. And basically, I'm doing this video because if it wasn't for Nick, I wouldn't have even known there was river in carps, uh, carp in rivers, sorry. And there isn't, it's a very niche little uh, society, I suppose, you could call it. I'll give you a little sneak peek. Again, can't show you too much. Um, but yeah, it's a very niche society and I feel that a lot more people could benefit from it if there was a little bit more information out there of how you do it. So basically in a nutshell, what me and Nick do is, we go, we've actually gone to the extent of downloading the environmental agency. Uh, have a little spot. download the environmental agency um, drawings for the different rivers uh, and we use Google Maps and then what we do is we'll pick a spot and literally it is as simple as pick a spot, pre-bait it, pre-bait it, pre-bait it, fish it, blank, pre-bait it, pre-bait it, pre-bait it, fish it, fish it, blank, 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 blank. Eventually, you'll get the results. But you have to put the effort in and you have to be willing to get up and do it every day. Like this is a 40 minute drive from my house. But mark my words, when you've got overhanging trees like this, I'll be pre-baiting. No two ways about it. Dedication down it every single day. Baiting, baiting, baiting. It's inevitable that the carp are gonna find it. And the other thing is as well is, if I don't find it, the bream and tench will find it, and eventually the carp will find the bream and tench, and you've got your fish. Uh, this works for other fishing as well, it's not just carp. Uh, <coughs> tench, bream, all your kind of course fishing. Concentrate the food in one area. Don't make the area too big. If you're worried, run, run, run a, a rake or a, a weight, through the water to sort of make sure there's no snags where you're fishing. You don't want to be plowing 150 pounds worth of bait in somewhere that's got a massive snag in the middle of it because you're never going to uh, triumph. So, basically in a nutshell, find yourself a lovely little spot that you find, you think, if I was a carp, I'd be there, or whatever your fish choice, choice would be. Plow it with bait. Start off with some particle. Now, particle is not cheap. You could go to places, monster particle, and all the different places. The bottom line of it is, is, it's just bird seed boiled up. You can buy yourself a big bag of uh, pigeon conditioner for, sorry, just climbing. Um, a big bag of pigeon conditioner for 20, 25 quid, uh, 20 kilos of it. Boil that up, chuck a bit of salt in there. Jobs are good and the fish are not fussy. Don't get me wrong. If you want a nutrition, if you want to really bulk your fish up, uh, obviously, there's nutritional baits, there's other baits you can use. Um, but when you're just trying to get the fish onto your spot, literally, pile it with, uh, pile it with particle, make your own particle, 20 pounds to do you all season, uh, and then slowly but surely start introducing some pellets, some boilies. Um, persistence, persistence is key. You need to persist. If you don't persist, you won't get results. It's as simple as that. Um, so yeah, stay dedicated, keep feeding it, Stay persistent and you will get a river carp. 
Um, so yeah, happy days. Uh, I'm going to show you through the video today a few little ideas, a few little look at uh, spots to look for, sort of uh, features and things like that, what carp like, etc. And I'll talk for a few other fish as well, not just carp. Pike season's around the corner, perch season, like it's all on top of us now. So we're actually trying to fish in the autumn for the winter and the winter for the carp on the river. Uh, we didn't think it was a doable thing. I've done a little bit of research, it is. So hopefully in a couple of months time, you should see a couple of river carp coming out. And if you don't, take no notice of me, but I promise you, you will. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna show you a few little features to look for and uh, keep note, persistence, 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 and you will get the results, I promise you. So, got a bit of maize covered in fish sauce. Cooked in Ribena. And the reason we're fishing this spot here is because, number one, we've got overhanging trees here. There's a bit of slack water, which is going to be handy in the winter months because the water's going to come rushing down. The carp are going to find the slack water, um, and that's where we're going to sit. And, um, Sorry, please take me. This has got a deep hole. We've gone to the extent of looking on a the environmental agency websites and finding that bit of information on the river. And we found that there's a few deep holes and this is one of them. So this is why we're baiting it. Cogn absolutely stinks. So yeah, got, got some of me classic sticky krill, 16 mil boilies, just down full of them. I'll put a nice waft into the water. If anyone can recognise this spot from this video, fair play. I don't think you're gonna be able to. So, there's a, there's a clue, it's stinging nettles, and I've had to walk through lobes. So, there's a little clue for you, keep guessing if you really want to. But my advice is, find your own spot, pre-bait your own spot, and do your own thing, and the results will come. But yeah, deep water. Bit of a bend for slack water. Um, and just basically, just keep plugging it. Keep plugging the bait in it. Uh, and the results will come. Right, so, we're out on the river. Yeah. I'm in the river now. There's Nick. We're out here. This is what fishing's about, mate. You gotta go and get them. Fish don't catch ourselves. Absolutely wicked little pool there, but we've we've spooked the granny out of the uh, chub, so we're gonna move on. Nick's managed to bream. Um, just going, just going up to find another little pool. So we'll be back in a minute. To show you. Oh. The lengths we go. Down. That's it. This is the lengths we go to to catch fish. So if you ain't willing to go to these lengths, don't bother. We're literally ah crawling. Do more work than the TAs. <laughs> this is what it's all about, mate. <laughs> it's a proper adventure. <laughs> We made it. We made it. Nick's down there trying to catch me a last bait. <laughs> Lovely little swimmer. And he's got a last bait. 
Life butt is in the money. No, I can't have this one, mate. It's Why? a chub. Is it a chub? Yeah. A little chublet? Yeah, so you can't have this one. Sorry, mate. That's all right, mate. I'll go out to the camera. Got to put the chublet back. Conservationists out here, we won't kill chubs because we want to catch them when they're eight pound. But we'll be after a two pounder right about now. Look at that. Oh, baby chublet. But... Specimen chub, that is. Still got a big mouth in it. <laughs> Massive, isn't they? Chuck her back, yeah, boy. It's a good sign, though, isn't it? You know yeah. what I mean? He knows it's teething with them. But up still at Steelbridge, you can catch them like that all day long. And that, but yeah. My oh, biggies. Yeah. I like this one. Really. Well, Starbridge is only fucking. So many little nooks and crannies here. Mate. Yeah, they've got pipe right all over them. And chub. Yeah, I'm going to get you a live bait, and then I'm going to start chubbing. I've got a cube of lunch of meat out on that rod, but I'm here for the predators, mate. Yeah, I know, but I'm here for the real predators. Got a little cube just there. Sun's shining. <laughs> the next one's gone, mate. <laughs> to be fair, if the next one is a chub, it's probably what the pike are feeding up on anyway. Watch the mastering work. Chin it, chin it, chin it, chin it. Has he got the minerals? <laughs> He has got the minerals. Yeah. Keep holding it like that. Where's the hook? Is it in the scissors? Yeah. Got forceps there. Yeah. Fishing off a bridge. Just got an absolute little slab. See them? Lovely job. Best thing about it is, is they're still down there. Now I've got to manoeuvre I'm going to get him up. Right, back home. Um, had a cut of pike, a couple of bream. No chub today, but you can't win them all at the end of the day. Uh, basically, carp fishing on the river, look for your deep holes, plow your bait in, don't overcomplicate it, keep it into a small section and you should get the results. Um, the video is a bit hit and miss here on there. Uh, we actually found out some of the parts we were fishing we shouldn't have been fishing, so I do apologise. Uh, we didn't know, we just ended up walking down the river, I got a bit carried away, but these things happen, we didn't mean any harm by it. Um, so yeah, happy days, uh, gonna get out soon, do a bit more fishing, don't forget to subscribe, um, don't forget to share the video please, that'd be double handy. Um, on another note, mental health's improved by a thousand percent, so we're getting there. And uh, Nick's going on the same path as I am, so fair play to him. Uh, yeah, wicked, happy days, keep watching, we keep trying to catch them.